Greetings, it's Judy Love Bowman, aka Dr. Think and Shine. Today we're going to take a look at the history of the Harambe table. And Harambe is the Swahili word we pull together, or all pull together, and it's the official motto of Kenya. These are two of my favorite pieces from Kenya. You have a male, and look, you see the other people holding him up, helping him, pulling together, helping him to stand tall. Here's the female, similarly. Here she is beautiful. And then the others are helping her, holding her up. How wonderful, how precious, how precious. Harambe. And the Harambe table, designed like the Harkness table, is designed to help democratize and equalize education. Whereas the traditional model, you have the leader or the teacher, the professor at, at the front or in the pulpit or at the podium. Here, the leader is in the group process. Harambe, we pull together. Let me take a personal point of privilege and thank Dean Linda Malone Kalan, the Dean of the School of Liberal Arts and Education at Hampton University, for encouraging this project. And we are here in her conference room at Hampton University, a brief history of the Harambe table. The Harambe table's use is designed to foster unity, elevate communication, and prepare individuals for groups, meetings, family leadership, community leadership, and academic and personal excellence. It was created to enhance discourse in academic and other decision-making and critical, critical thinking environments. Harambe, the Swahili word meaning we pull together, and the official motto of Kenya is significant because of the cultural and social implications associated with the name. The goal of the Harambe table is to encourage discourse in any group setting which is culturally informed, fair, peaceful, and fosters unity. Those who engage in discourse around the long wooden Harambe table benefit in a variety of ways. The Harambe table discourse encourages and enhances listening skills, critical thinking skills, public speaking skills, and civilized participation in the group process with special consideration for black culture. There is an historic connection between Hampton University, the Harkness Table, and the Harambe Table. Like the Harkness Table, the Harambe Table is designed to, quote, fortify student confidence, enhance their facility with language, discourse, and discipline-specific vocabulary, all through regular, disciplined, and relaxed but focused student-led collegiate exchange and not always professor-led or leader-led inquiry, end quote. Unlike the Harkness table, which is used exclusively in educative environments, the Harambe table is designed for a variety of environments with a special attention to the cultural theme of pulling together. Harambe and unity at historically black colleges and universities, HBCUs, and with Afri within African-American student groups, families, churches, boardrooms, divine nine meetings, and communities. The Harambe table is designed for academic discourse, board meetings, family meetings, family reunions, legal mediation, church councils, and any setting where the group process is implemented. The Harambe table encourages listening and follows the protocol for the Harambe table. The origins of the Harkness Table are interconnected with the rich history of Hampton University, founded in 1868 as Hampton Normal and Agricultural Institute. And the Harambe Table. The uh, Harkness Hall, a male student residence at Hampton University, is named after Edward Stephen Harkness, who lived from 1874 to 1940 an oil heir and one of the America's earliest philanthropists. As a result of his belief in the democratization of education, Harkness created the Harkness Table, first used at Phillips Exeter and later at other institutions, including Harvard, St. Paul School, Yale, Lake Sumner Community College, and Hampton University, the first HBCU, 
to use the Harkness table at the Freddie T. Davey Honors College under the direction of Dr. Carlton Long. The Harkness table is oval shaped. Quote, the professor takes the role of guide by the side rather than stay sage on the stage, end quote. Modeled in many aspects after the Harkness table, the Harambe table is positioned to be a symbol and tool in the process of learning, empowering, healing, listening, encouraging, creating, striving, loving, understanding, collaborating, growing, and learning in Black and other college classrooms, boardrooms, churches, families, and program planning agencies. Influenced by her participation with the Harkness table at Harvard and inspired by Dr. Carlton Long's faculty training at Hampton University, Reverend Dr. Judy Love Bowman, author and creator of the Haram of Harambe Celebrations and the Harambe Table, and under the leadership of Dr. Linda K. Malone Kalan, created the concept for the Harambe Table. The first Harambe Table was built by Master Carpenter, Mr. William Spencer, and Mr. Timmy Askew, Assistant Carpenter, and their team right here at Hampton University. It was assembled in Dean Linda Malone Kalan's conference room in the historic Armstrong Hall by Mr. Spencer, Mr. Askew, Mr. Will Dones, and Mr. Robert Lawless. It, it was dedicated at Hampton University June 15, 2023 by Reverend Dr. Deborah Hagen's chaplain. It was dedicated in honor of Juneteenth and in honor of the continuation of an international black, uh, and in, the, in honor of Juneteenth, and in honor of the continuation of international black excellence at Hampton University in the School of Liberal Arts and Education under the leadership of Lieutenant General Darrell K. Williams, President, Mrs. Myra Richardson Williams, First Lady, Dr. Joanne Haysbert, Provost and Chancellor, Dr. Linda K. Malone Kalan, Dean of the School of Liberal Arts and Education, Mr. Novell Dickinson, Assistant Dean, Dr. David Hunter, Assistant Dean, Reverend Dr. Deborah Hagens, Chaplain, Dr. Jacqueline Fonville Bonton, Consultant, Dr. Vanessa Thaxton Ward, Consultant, Dr. Carlton Long, Consultant, Dr. Ms. Melissa Seabolt, Administrative Assistant, Ms. Sabrina Brooks, Administrative Assistant. References Consultant, Phillips Exeter Academy History of Harkness, the men behind the plan. And Carlton Long, Harkness and Hampton, Freddie T. Davey Honors College, Hampton University. That, my friends, is the history of the Harkness table we pulled together. What a beautiful table, what a beautiful concept. I believe that we can get a lot more accomplished if we would all pull together as these Sculptures show in Kenya how all these people are pulling together. Harambe!